A common sight aboard nearly every Starfleet ship, orbital facility, planetside base, and academy grounds, the Type 15 shuttle pod was a staple of Starfleet shuttle bays during the middle of the 24th century. The craft measured in at 3.6 meters long, 2.4 meters wide, and 1.6 meters tall, weighing in at 860 kilos, making it by far the smallest shuttlecraft to ever see widespread service with Starfleet. While transporter technology was well-tested and reliable by the dawn of the 24th century, and present aboard all vessels in Starfleet, there still existed a long list of uses for small craft. Simple transport of personnel at long distance, long-range away missions, and carrying of dangerous materials too unstable or unpredictable for transporters being common. There were also a significant number of events and circumstances in which a ship wouldn't be able to make use of transporters, such as ionic storms, dense planetary atmospheres, or even sensor jamming. As a result, Starfleet included extensive provision for small craft in the design of their starships, with shuttle bays, tractor beams, and maintenance facilities being included in all classes, as well as a team of dedicated personnel to tend to them. Traditionally, Starfleet preferred larger, more capable, and feature-rich shuttlecraft designs, resulting in large, quality craft which would perform a wide range of missions as needed. While smaller designs did exist, these were typically rare and had limited adoption in the fleet as better options were available. This would change in the 2240s, however, with an internal review in 2345 concluding that a majority of missions shuttlecraft were assigned to did not make full use of the craft's capabilities, and in fact, commonly only carried a single occupant concluding with the opinion that a smaller, less capable shuttlecraft should be produced and deployed to Starfleet vessels in limited numbers, the report was influential and had the ear of many higher-ups in Starfleet Command, and resulted in a program to design a craft to these specifications being launched in 2246. The result of this, the Type 15 shuttle pod entered service aboard Starfleet ships in 2354 after an extended development program. Commonly embarked aboard most Starfleet vessels and installations from 2357 onwards, the craft would prove to be reliable in service, though never popular with its users who often found the craft to be too cramped and limited. With the craft lacking room for their occupants aside from the two chairs and sufficient legroom, many found the type to be claustrophobic, even if it was simple to fly, a result of it being the first shuttlecraft in Starfleet to be designed to be operated by all personnel, not just certified pilots. It was quickly found that the type was seldom used, with crews preferring the more capable designs which were more typical of Starfleet shuttles before the type's introduction and well ships would continue to be issued with the type until 2365, and it would remain in production for two years after that, the model would be quietly phased out of service, with ships being issued the type having the option to replace them as they were sent in for regular reconditioning. The type would be officially removed from Starfleet's rosters in 2371, as the Dominion War loomed on the horizon and a new generation of Starfleet shuttles began to enter service, though it would stick around in several more isolated areas and be used in secondary roles long after this point. While often considered a failure from its conception to end of service, the Type 15 is a technologically interesting type given its compact size and extensive capabilities. The type is poorly remembered today by most, though given its ease of handling, agility, and mechanical reliability, it is very possible that the type does not fully deserve its negative reputation, even if it could be somewhat unpleasant to find yourself aboard one for an extended period. Thank you for watching this video. I know this is a bit of a shorter video than usual, and of course we're talking about a more uh, niche subject. Um, 
you know, this was kind of a quick, quicker video than normal. Um, I liked, liked it. Sometimes I like not doing crazy long, uh, videos that need a lot of detail, especially since I'm working on a couple of projects that do need a lot of detail, so it's just easier to do this shorter one. Um, I hope you liked it regardless. Um, I always like the Type 15. It's such a dinky little thing. Uh, there's a couple of, of pictures in the video that show people in it during TNG episodes. It's just weird and wacky. It's like a little minivan thing, but also a coupe. It's weird. Um, anyway, it's not my favorite Starfleet shuttlecraft. If it is your st favorite Starfleet shuttlecraft, then hey, this is the video for you. Uh, let me know if it is. And let me know generally what your favorite Starfleet shuttlecraft design is. Uh, the type, what is it, 9 from Voyager might win it out for me, though, though I also like the weird Type 7. Uh, anyway, um, thank you for watching the video. Feel free to make suggestions for ships to review in future in the comments. I definitely take those into consideration. I have a big list uh, that I'm gradually working my way through. So yeah. I think that's all of the necessary end of video fluff out of the way. Uh, have a nice day. Watch more of my videos. Subscribe. There's a Patreon. There, now I've done everything.